forward. I'm about about two days away from leaving South Dakota, and I'm doing a lot of work. I lost all my lights the other day. That went out. That went out. That one went out. So all my lights went out. And I finally got those fixed. Uh, this this one and the other one needed new bulbs. The other one, I guess, just needed to be reconnected. But uh, so that's finally done. Yeah, I'm trying to get everything ready to go, but it's been raining for like three days straight. So no matter what I do, I, I'll just be doing it out in the rain. So uh, I'm leaving here. What's today? Saturday. I'm leaving Monday. So and it's cold. I haven't had my heater on for two days now. Uh, <laughs> and my, my mom keeps joking with me because she's down in Texas where I'm getting ready to head back to. But I've been telling her, it's like, it's freezing here, like I've had my heater on for two days. She's like, oh, I've had my AC on. It's It was like 97 yesterday and it's like 85 today. And it's like, all right, I'm on my way. I'll be back down there. <laughs> all right, well, I got... The most of the kitchen stuff done that I hate doing, which is dishes. So they are completely done, put away, and I put the put the covers back on. But uh, I'm getting ready to head back down to Texas. Uh, what next? Saturday, Sunday? I think either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, the, I don't. I'm not really sure which day yet. Definitely Monday, but. Depending on the weather, it's so cold here, like I, I can't stand it. And it's still like 95 in Texas. So, going back, we're actually just going to take the same same road all the way back down to Texas. I, I got a few things left around, around the RV to do. Like I have to um, like bolt down everything that, that like moves around. Like uh, this right here. the uh, My mic stand and everything. That's going to be taken down because this, this cabinet here has to be closed in or else it's just going to fall apart. Uh, the TV up there needs to be mounted back. Um, my, in the bedroom, uh, need to fold that TV in and shut the doors and get all them, get them all like locked into place and all that. And then the bathroom, I think everything's done in the bathroom, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm heading back to Texas, and uh, ran into some financial problems, and I got a lot of a lot of maintenance to do on the RV, which is causing part of the financial problems. And I've spent a ton of money while I've been up here. Everything up here is so expensive. Like uh, uh, cigarettes, are like ten dollars a pack. So that's why I ended up buying the my own roller, which so far has saved me a ton of money. Um, I was spending like twenty dollars like every week and a half, two weeks, and then usually I'm spending twenty dollars a day. So that's done. Uh, I'm getting ready to vacuum everything. I already got my trailer hooked up. So tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I'm gonna go get my energy drinks uh, for the road, and then pull my car up tomorrow night, get it all done, locked in place, set and ready. So that way. Uh, Whatever I'm ready to take off, all I have to do is unhook and go. So I'll, I'll be draining my tanks tomorrow and all that. And then we'll be heading back to Texas. So, well, we're going 1,400 miles, which I got to do an oil change once I get there. I hope I hope everything lasts till then because it's 1,400 miles and I need to go get an oil change.
So I finally made it down. I'm back down in Texas. I'm not where I want to be yet. But um, I have made it all the way down here. I drove for 14 hours today, 600 miles. I don't know if you can see this. Is there a way I can angle it? Uh, no. But anyway, I drove from Hot Springs, South Dakota, all the way down to Dumas or something like that. Dumas. I'm just, just north of somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Uh, I'm like 30 minutes north of Amarillo. Just barely in Texas. So, which is funny, if you guys remember, whenever I left Texas, the, my original drive was to get out of Texas the first day, and then make a <coughs> stop in Oklahoma, and then stop in Colorado, and then down to Hot Springs, or on to Hot Springs. So now, on my way back, I drove through, well, I, I, <coughs> I left South Dakota, went through Nebraska, through Colorado, through Oklahoma, and I'm about three hours into Texas right now. I got about an eight-hour drive tomorrow. So, and it's, I don't even know what time it is. It's almost 10.30 at night, and I got here about 45 minutes ago. I am exhausted. So, I have an energy drink ready to go uh, for tomorrow. So, I'm going to pack up. Well, I don't even have to pack up. I'm not even con only thing that's connected is my, is my power. And that's just so I can have AC going because it's, it's hot down here. Back up north, and it's, let's see what the temperature is up north right now. If I was still in, if I was still in Hot Springs, it would be 43 degrees. And it's currently 75 right now. So, I forgot how hot it is down here. So, but I'll be here throughout the whole winter. And, uh... I got some projects planned and I got some stuff going. So I will see you guys in Kingsland, Texas. I made it back down here to Texas, back in Kingsland. Just got everything set up. And I'm tired. Like I drove for so much today. Uh, yesterday I drove from South Dakota to Texas, just barely in Texas. And then today I drove from the top of Texas to the bottom of Texas. And it's hot. I forgot how hot it was down here. Uh, but I'll be here until spring. Uh, I've already started setting up shop. So I got my cigarette stuff going. Fan. Got my computer stuff set up. TV set up. So right now I'm just getting ready to eat. It's too hot right now. So, But uh, all my stuff set up. I'm back in the same park I was last time I was here at Granite Rock RV Park. So, made a pretty good relationship with the owners here. They like me, I like them. So, it's best just uh, stay here. <laughs> Plus, my mom's like half an hour away. Um, but yeah, I'm back where I have friends and family so I can start vlogging again. But tomorrow, I'll go over all the problems. I had lots of problems. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'll go over all the problems I had on the way up to South Dakota while I was at South Dakota and on the way back. So stay tuned for those. And uh, be sure to check out our podcast. It's on, I think it's on everything. It's on Spotify, um, Apple. It's it's on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio. It's everywhere. It's just iScribble3 or IS3 Podcast. It's going to be one of the two. I'm at Granite Rock RV Park, and I've befriended the owner and her husband. They're really cool people. Uh, oh, really bright. Yeah, I befriended her and her husband, and uh, so we were texting the other day, and um, I was making sure that she had a spot for me whenever I came in here, and uh, she's like, yes, yeah, I got plenty of spots for you, and I go, okay, well, my renters normally don't pay for a few days. Um, is it okay if I kind of get some leeway uh, on paying the rent? 
Uh, and she's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then so whenever, whenever, um, whenever she said that, she's like, and can you play with a check or, or something? Uh, so I don't have to pay the credit card fees because she used the, uh, her, her phone, whatever the, whatever the phone thing is, um, square, I think, or something like that. And, uh, so it charges her a fee for, for a credit card swipe. So I was like, all right, well, I'll pay you and I'll just pay you some cash if, if you want. That's fine. It's like, oh yeah, like, uh, money's money. So what I did is it, I went and I got her some cash, but it's all, it's all ones. So I'm paying her $400 in ones, but she wanted, she wanted cash. So that's what I'm getting her. So it's going to be. She's supposed to be here sometime today. I don't know when, but once she gets here, today, we're gonna record her paying her in cash. Hey, go, Allison. Oh, no. You said you wanted it in ones, so there's your ones. There's my ones, and when I take them to the bank, yeah. they're gonna look at me like look I'm that. a pretty fun, special isn't it? person. In my RV, I have tried to run my AC, I'm in Texas, so it's always hot. It's freaking hot here. And they, I've been running my AC since I've been down here for I don't know, almost a week now. And this is what my thermostat is telling me. Let's see if I can get it to focus in on it. Ninety-six, with my AC going. So what I ended up doing, I turned my fan, I turned my AC off because it's just wasting power pretty much. Um, so I opened up all the windows and doors and anything I could open. Turned all my fans on. I got two box fans going. It's just I'm just trying to get some kind of circulation going, but it is so hot here. So, and the thing with my RV. I don't have two or three um, AC units, or I don't even have the roof AC units. I have a what's called a basement unit, which is under URV, like a regular AC unit, and it's 20, it's almost 30 years old. And there's supposed to be a flap that you can open up on the door to get to it, and you can't. Uh, you have to take out a bunch of screws. And I don't know anything about ACs. So, I have I actually have an AC friend, but he doesn't specialize in RV ones, just regular ones. So maybe I'm gonna try to get under there, change the filter out, see what's going on with it. Because between a car AC and this AC, this is not blowing cold air at all. Like there's air coming out, but it's barely cold. So I'm not really sure what's going on with it. But it's it's hot. Like if you like that, it's gross and hot, and my arms. Oh, <laughs>